In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this smooth split screen transition in Premiere Pro. It's super easy to create, so let's get into it. If you want the free preset for this transition, you can check out my Patreon. Link is mentioned in the description. Here, I have these two stock videos. I'm going to make the transition about one second long, but you can make it shorter or longer if you want. First, cut the last one second of the first clip and duplicate this cut onto the track above. Now, select the top layer. Go to the Effect Controls panel and under the Opacity effect, select the Pen tool. In the Program Monitor, we need to cut this into a shape. You can choose any style you like, horizontal, vertical, or even triangular. We're going to draw a mask, so let's arrange its zoom to make it precise. Here, draw a triangle-shaped mask. Next, set the mask feather to zero, then copy this mask. Select the bottom cut, go to Effect Controls, and paste the mask there. Make sure to check inverted, and our masking is done. Now we need to animate the mask. Nest both layers together. Once nested, go to the Effects panel and search for Transform. Apply this Transform effect to both nested clips. Select the bottom nested clip, go to Effect Controls, and under Transform, create a position keyframe at the very first frame. Move a few frames forward, then set the position X and Y values to zero. Or indirectly, you can say you have to move your footage out of the frame, so it will be going out of the frame. To make the movement smoother, set these keyframes to ease in and ease out. Move the last keyframe to the end of the clip, then disable Use Composition Shutter Angle and set the angle to 180 degrees. This will add motion blur. Now, do the same for the top clip. Create a position keyframe at the first frame, then move forward a few frames and change the values. This time, double the X and Y values compared to the top clip. By doubling them, this part of the video will move out of the frame, and that's exactly what we want. Remember, if you're making a horizontal or vertical cut, the process will be slightly different. The main goal is just to push this part of the video out of the frame to create the animation. Set the keyframes to ease in and ease out. Move the last keyframe to the end. Disable Use Composition Shutter Angle and set the shutter angle to 180 degrees again. At the last, move both nested clips one track up and place the second stock clip underneath them. This is how the transition will look. Here's a bonus trick to make it feel more realistic. Select the top clip, move the time indicator to the center of the nested sequence and create a position keyframe. Expand the position graph and slightly pull apart the two handles. Just like that, you are free to play with this to get a perfect result. Do the same for the bottom nested clip. Create a position keyframe at the middle. Expand the position graph and slightly pull apart the two handles. This adds a small break in the middle, which looks perfect. Lastly, let's add the sword sound effect. And here is the final look. If you want free preset file for this transition, you can check out my Patreon, link mentioned in the description. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you've got any questions. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.